Welcome back to the score. Our next trip up to Kendallville, where a couple SAC teams try to pick up wins against any eight opponents. First, the Northrop Bruins facing DeKalb in the early game inside the Big Blue Pit. After a technical foul in the fourth quarter, DeKalb sends Allison Stuckey to line and she hits those free throws. Now Morgan Leslie tries to take it inside, drops it off to Paige Pettis, and that'll work. But the Bruins well in control. Check out the drive from Amanda Thatcher. Misses it first, but gets her own rebound. Nice land. Bruins take the W, beating DeKalb 43 to 26. We've been in the championship last year. To be able to go again is a wonderful feeling. This uh, program hasn't won a sectional in 12 years, so for us to have another opportunity to get to, to, get to the championship and actually winning to come down the net means the world to us. And now the host Knights go up against a very tough Carroll team. Carroll's Olivia Hepner almost loses it here, but recovers, goes through traffic to score. Hepner finishes her night with 12 points. Carly Kirkpatrick drawing in some attention, kicks out to Avon buys Wagner, and that three is good. Some great hustle here from Delaney Sheets in a little misdirection as she scores. Carroll keeps us piling on in this game. Now it's Emily Parrott on the drive. Inside lays it in off glass. She goes for 11, and Carroll will move on with a big win, 70 to 37 final. Back to 3A in the action of Mississippi and Gas City. Opener is Norwell and host Mississippi. Lady Knights down early again, but not by much, and they rally for the lead in the second. Kaylee Felling with two of her 21 points. Mississippi is best with 6 4. Kylie Bolser does her thing like she did in here, and they'd come on to tie it in the third. But Norwell took the game back over for good. Good drive by Maya Shelton. She would go for 16 in this one. And then on the break, it is Lauren Bales to dish Haley Henshin for two of her nine. And Norwell wins at 59-55 with some great defense and hustle. We came out a lot better than we did against Lures, so that was important. But I just think we played harder all together. Well, we played hard against Lures, but yeah. This team has really earned the right to play for a sectional championship. We're right there. Um, we'll need to play well tomorrow night, um, but we're excited to be in this position again. Second game at Mississippi, Belmont and Oak Hill, the squaws looking to reach a sectional final once again. Good early ball movement for Belmont and inside there's Emma Keene. Off window, two of her nine points are going down. Oak Hill gets the lead early. Carly Biddle out on the wing for the three ball and they're hitting them all over. That was outside, here comes inside. Taylor Westgate cleaning up on the offensive board, scoring two of her 12, but Belmont took over in the second quarter. Three ball for Megan Busick and in her 16 points, and that led Belmont's 44-37 win that puts them in the final against Norwell tomorrow night.